Mm. All right. Well, I overslept a little bit today. Didn't get up as early as I wanted to. But, uh, made it down to get my packages. <laughs> Had a little scare, though, because, uh, the lady at Postal Connections, she handed me my package that came from the post office and then said that's all there was. And I'm like, uh, UPS delivered yesterday at 12.38. And luckily she uh, she realized that she had, the box got marked with the wrong box number at the, the for my mailbox. Um, everything was right, but then when they checked it in, they uh somebody put the wrong box number and they put because they put this sticker on the box when they check it in and they ended up putting one with the wrong number on it so somebody else has a thing in their mailbox and they're gonna go i have a package <laughs> uh hopefully she rem she remembers that when it comes time to somebody else coming to try to get a package so We have this here. Hopefully these parts will be, well, be, I'm hoping that this is going to fix my intermittent issues that I have, I'm hoping. I'm really, really, really hoping. Um, all right, so we, all right. Now after, I was going to uh, highly recommend flagshiponecom and tomorrow I guess we'll find out when I install the ECM if my vans, if the van starts, I will. Uh, Probably actually feel really good and then, you know, and give Flagship One a credit. Um, fully. I, for now, I will give them credit that they... A very nice pack job. Two, two padded bags. And then in a box. And thank you, USPS. The box actually looks very nice. Um... I guess let's hope that it wasn't thrown around too hard. And if it was thrown around, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. We got... Holy shit. We got... Okay. Three padded bags. <laughs> A box. That is bag number two. Three padded bags. Wow. All right. Well, I will, I will give Flagship One credit then for that. At least they know how to they know how to pack up an ECM to protect it. So three bags in a box, and cellophane wrapped. HHF2, that is correct. Security seal, do not tamper. One zero four eight four eight four, which that's my order number. Okay, so it doesn't have the HHF F2 sticker on the front like the original. Um, there it is. There is the brain to Mona Van Lisa. This is going to be her new, her new brain. Now the only trick will be to find out to see if when I plug it in, because per 
This is why I'm not going to give this company a, a, you know, a thumbs up or a, a two thumbs up. I give them about a sideways thumb right now. <coughs> um, I can see I'm going to have to sp I'm gonna spray that out with the uh, cleaner because inside of the plugs have an awful lot of dust for being cleaned and ready to ship. Um, but I will give them a th sideways three-quarter thumb. Uh, actually, no, let me redo that. I will give them one thumbs up for the price of $255 for a new ECM, for a, a, a reprogrammed ECM. I'll give them a thumbs up on their price. I give them a thumbs up on their packaging to make sure that it gets to me without being damaged. I give their website a half to three quarter thumb only because their website states that if your vehicle does not have PATS, which is the, that would be the system that if you have a chip key, if your ignition key has a chip in it, then you have PATS. And if you have PATS, then when this gets installed, you would have to go to it, have it, it would have to be done in a garage where they have the scanner computer that they can plug into your OBD2. And then they can actually talk to this and tell it, hey, yes, Pat's here. Let's learn the keys, the chip that's in it, that's in the key, you know, blah, 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 so that it boom, starts up. Now, uh, if you, their website, per their website, if you don't have PATS, this is supposed to be plug and play, fire it right up, good to go. I'd gotten an email right after ordering it, after verifying through live chat about the plug and play, not needing, not having PATS, not having chip keys, that it would be plug and play and being told yes, that is correct. So I ordered, and then I received an email for my order, and then I received a second email the next day stating that my VIN, my for my VIN number, that it, uh, that my van has some kind of security. And I emailed back saying, um, I do not have chip keys. This is supposed to be plug and play. And so we will find out tomorrow when I put this in, if it's truly plug and play. That'll be after I spray out the uh, pin connectors in here with some mass airflow cleaner and then blow it out with some air. Let it dry. Um, but yeah, so there's Mona Van Lisa's new brain. And hopefully she will no longer run rich. And hopefully she will no longer go into limp mode. Um, originally I'm thinking this is probably the main, the main issue right here. But I also had found some other informational videos from the mechanics and whatnot. Um, stating different symptoms, the top, like top five symptoms. I, I I spoke about this in another video, but top five symptoms of a fa of, of certain failing parts in a ve in this vehicle or any vehicle for that matter. That's all electronic. Um, and because of the symptoms that can be associated with some of those things I thought hey why not you know because this van does have 170,000 miles now um, so went to parks the parts geek.com and I give them two thumbs up on their pound there I'll give them a, yeah, I'll give them two thumbs, a tongue. They get, 
they get a two thumbs up all the way around because one, their prices are quite phenomenal and way cheaper than other online or parts stores. Um, and I ordered this on what, Monday night, Tuesday morning, and I received it yesterday on Thursday from Georgia. So we have, this is supposed to be the gasket that comes, that goes with my throttle body, my brand new throttle body. Kind of a funny looking gasket, but I guess <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I've never actually taken a throttle body apart, so I don't, or taken, I've never taken one off a vehicle, so I don't know. But now there. That is brand new. Now we're going to compare. Oh, I unlocked the door. So now, here's a $65 throttle body off eBay. It was dirty as hell. I, I uh, sandblasted it at work after work one night. Um, and on the eBay ad, it did not mention any damage. At all. Where did... piece go. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. I know the piece was in this bag. Oh, there it is. Tucked in the corner, tucked in the corner. So, this little piece. When I got, when I received this from the eBay seller. It had markings on here with a, with a red uh, paint pen. Listing what it came off of, a 2011 40, 250, 4.6 liter. Um, and then it had a little, it had a red line up here at the top. Still some, actually there's still some red on there. I don't think you can see it well, but it's there. But they did not list it in this, in the, uh, on the listing that this had damage. And when I got it, I was like, oh, look, it's cracked. And I was like, well, maybe I can glue that, no problem. And I barely touched it and the whole piece. And then it cracked along the bottom. So, beings that trying to glue that, I mean, I could glue it back in, I guess, technically. I'll have this as a backup, maybe, I don't know. Or I'll come across somebody with a with an E250 4.6 liter and I'll be able to make a donation in case they need or want to replace. They can glue that piece on there and go from there. But for, I wish I would have seen this first because for $155, here's a brand new, not remanufactured, nothing like that. Here is a brand new, brand new throttle body for my vehicle.
which possibly some of my intermittent issues could be right in here because on my throttle body for this van if you look up a throttle body for a 2008 4D 250 there are pictures of this then there's pictures that show this on this side but then the throttle position sensor is mounted on this side of the throttle body so, <laughs> once I realized, I ended up getting the numbers off of mine, my original, I could see the numbers on it. So, I ended up get, taking the numbers off, and when I went to partsgeek.com, I did a live chat with a, with a person from there. And gave them my numbers, and I said, which which part number of your throttle bodies is the one I need? And then they, here you go, this is the one, and then the gasket. And so, for I think this was 155, I think this was 155 or 140 some dollars for a brand new throttle body. So, we're going to end up putting this on because I think some of my issues, besides the ECM, if it ain't, if, if I know my running rich is the ECM because the ECM controls that. But at the same time, the throttle position sensor in here, the mass airflow sensor, which I've already replaced, that all works together. So if one or more of those components are wearing out, getting tired as I like to call them, call it, then the whole thing can go wacky at times, run fine, but then not run fine or run good. And then my intermittent issues of start stall um, or the intermittent get, you know, give it a little gas and then it, it bucks and goes into limp mode you know, I'm hoping that between the ECM, the throttle body, and the accelerator pedal module assembly, I'm hoping that'll fix my problems. If it doesn't, there's still the potential for, I think, uh, some kind of solenoid module sensor that's inside, possibly inside the transmission, above the valve body, which if that's the case, then that's going to require the transmission be... The pan, the pan taken off, drained, the filter removed, the valve body removed, and then replace those sensors and then put the valve body back up in, from what I understand. Or, I'm not sure, it may even require the transmission be completely removed from the van for them to get to it. I don't know. Or, maybe I get lucky, and maybe I have external sensors on the transmission that I can reach and replace myself or that would be easier for a garage to do as well. Either way, that's a possibility, but I'm trying not to think about that. Uh, I do want to get the transmission serviced on this thing because I don't know when the last owner did it last. And I know with the mileage I put on, it's due for a filter and fluid change. So that is on my list, along with coil packs and spark plugs because I don't know when the last time plugs were changed and the coil packs being if they're original at 170,000 miles, I just want to replace it, all that stuff. But that's going to be an expensive garage bill because they like to charge most places with, with what they charge per hour and how many hours the book says for labor. Even if they can do it faster, most places are probably going to be charging a high, higher, that higher amount just because it could be a pain in the backside or God forbid, if this Ford engine is one of the one of the in the in the year range that had was notorious for plugs breaking off, then if a plug breaks off and they have to use the spark plug remover tool and do all that, you know, blah blah blah. <laughs> well, then I'm looking at more labor. So, what do we got here? Attention, to ensure proper operation of the replacement unit, verify the vehicle engine control unit is updated 
with the latest software version of all service manual procedures for calibration are performed. Failure to perform this procedure can cause idle concerns and can set the check engine light and generate codes. Well, I do have a brand new ECM, so we're good there. And I also know that once you replace the throttle body, you have to do, to do its relearn. See, look at that, this is nice. Oh, they give you a paper invoice. Yeah, Renogy doesn't do this. And then when you have an issue or think there's an issue and you wanna get with them on warranty because you just got their product a few months ago, they want a picture of an invoice. Well, I deleted all the email stuff from my order after I get it. I don't hold on to that stuff. It's pointless to me, it seems. Um, clutters up my phone, slows down, you know, blog, blog, clogs up my email account. So they don't send you one of these. So then that way, when you try to hit them up, they go, oh, well, we need a picture of your invoice. And when you don't have that, they won't do anything for you. Not that they're a bad company, and actually lucky for me, turned out it was my battery, not the solar charger, so it's all good. No harm, no foul, I guess, and to, as long as their product keeps working for the next nine months. Um, Parts Geek LLC, Hempstead, New York. Now their website says that they're based out of Pennsylvania, but yet their LLC address is New York. That's kind of weird. But, but anyway, um, and then we have. Well, look at that. It was trying to escape out the box. Well, let's hope there's no damage then here. See, I like the way that because that so this mounts man that pedal feels so much See, I'm wondering if some of my 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 limp mode could be the could be this. This could be my like cause because this feels so much different than oh that pedal feels nice. That feels way better and a lot nicer than. The bracket's been trying to escape out the box. <laughs> uh, I guess. But that feels really nice, so maybe that might just be my, part of my issue too. But these are the things that without going to a, I mean, I, I questioned at a garage. I've tried, I tried to get help from the garage, like, you know, hey, pick, pick your brain type thing and I was even willing to pay them. I was getting my van inspected and I was actually willing to pay them a little extra just for the brain picking. But all I got was, well, that could be a number of things, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't want to really give me any insight. So well, we don't need all these things, so. This is one thing that never gets old. The older you get, you still enjoy doing it. <laughs> uh, popping the poppy things. Uh, 
All right, so now I can close the box. Nope, <laughs> my ECM's still too high. Oh well, that's fine. We'll make it work. Okay, so yes, I definitely give parts partsgeek.com two thumbs up on everything from I give them two thumbs up from everything from their website ordering the, the, the online the online live chat help their customer service was exceptional um, I do believe that was Catalina that helped me there and she was awesome um their prices are great their shipping i mean it said three to seven business days they could have taken until next week to get this to me i ordered it i think it was tuesday morning early tuesday morning and they got it shipped out and i received it at my postal at my postal connection mailbox yesterday like at 12.38 p.m. So, and that came up from Jenny, and it shipped out of Georgia. <coughs> so, phenomenal to them for getting it out the door. Even a thumbs up to UPS. Thank you for not sending it halfway around the country first, like you have in the past, for me and other people I know. <laughs> um, sometimes I don't understand why you gotta go past and come back and you know come on you know but this time ups i give you two thumbs up actually good job got it to me in two days oh yeah beautiful so now tomorrow saturday is going to be spent replacing all these parts um looking at the gas at the guy the accelerator pedal module um i'm now kind of wondering what I thought was going to be the bolts to remove <sighs> okay no it's there all right those bolts and then hopefully I'll, I'll have the engine cover off and be able to look up in there and hopefully it's not I guess it'll be yeah see that pedal is way oh this might be incredible um, it's actually going to be that bolt there, that bolt down there. And I think there's supposed to be one up top, but I can't see it. Um, I wonder if I'll have to actually unbolt the module, the pedal module from the bracket. In that case, if that's the case, I'll just use the old bracket. I don't even think I'll need the new bracket. But... It's amazing when it ain't hunting season. A little spot like this. It's pretty nice. Could probably even pull off sleeping here at night. <laughs> at least a few times maybe here and there. Uh, Oh, wow. All right. So the state game, the Pennsylvania Game Commission, now well, they're finally putting up some new signage that makes sense. It says, Warning. Spent shells, empty boxes, paper targets, other associated spent shooting materials are considered litter. All right. So you hear that all for all you people that like to come out here and shoot and stuff. Pick up your damn shit and take it with you because you spent shell casings and shotgun shells and all that crap. That's considered litter. So stop littering up the beautiful countryside and the woods. Just stop. Take it with you. Throw it away at home. Um, so, yeah. So we got... At least the parts came. We got the parts. We got the parts. Now I get to spend tomorrow. Which, I mean, hey. Mona Van Lisa comes first. She's my priority. This is my home. My home. Right here. 
this is this girl I was really glad I was able to huh, make some make some art there and give a message back to the vandals that decided to mess up the my damage the front of my hood there yes it's kind of a nice message back to them ain't it <laughs> but my home there it is my home number one priority comes first before anything and anyone there it is i must get her running properly all the time take care of her because well she's my one true love because she's my home <laughs> uh, she never says no she goes anywhere and does what I want to do kind of like when I had my rope my motorcycles my, <laughs> you know the rocket never said, she never said no when I wanted to climb on and ride her. <laughs> she never said no to going fast or going anywhere and doing really wild stuff, you know? So, van homes and motorcycles seem to be, that's right up my alley. Yeah. That's why I need another rocket. I need another rocket so I can go fast. I miss going fast. I miss the adrenaline rush. But anyway, so that's it for today, I guess, because now I got to get ready for work. Yay, work! Someday, maybe before I die, this could be my work. And all my lovely subscribers, I could have enough to be monetized and just make enough money off of Google ad revenue to put gas in my tank and food in my belly and pay my few bills that I have. That would be nice. That's the dream. That's the dream of YouTube, being a YouTuber. Most people want to get rich. Me, I'm just, I just want to get enough. I just want to make enough every month so that I can pay my bills and, and, and just live. That's all. I'm not looking to get rich. I'm not looking to, you know, just as long as I have enough to pay my bills, live, and have a and have a backup, you know, a safety net account, you know, just in case, you know, in case of breakdown, in case of whatever, that I have no worries, you know, that's all I want. I'm not looking, to, I don't need to be rich. I'm already rich. I'm already rich because I'm still alive, even though I'm dying. Dying has actually made me the richest man ever, has made me, has made me rich because it's helped me realize that all those years that I kept big dreams, big goals, thinking about all this wall that wanting this and wanting that, and it was all materialistic stuff for the you know, majority. And being in debt and, you know, I mean, I'm still, I got some debt that's haunting me, but you know, hopefully take care of that here eventually before I go um, but you know dying has taught me to appreciate life appreciate the small things I was always I've always been the kind of guy that likes being alone but dying has helped me appreciate that you need to take time to find yourself, to learn, to enjoy your own company, to enjoy time alone, um, all that, you know? And it, it's helped me, it's taught me to appreciate that I have me. That is what matters. I, w I woke up this morning, you know, I have I have a van that I'm working on getting her running right, keeping her running right, I should say. Um, and her and I are gonna travel. Just, 
Hey, ain't she nice? Look at that. She got. She may be older, but she got a nice ass on her. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fine specimen of Ford engineering. <laughs> but I made her my own, customized. She's my home. So, yeah. But yeah, so, like I said, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, they don't, they don't, they, a lot of people don't understand where I come from with my thought process. And it's because they're not dying. Um, you know, I've had people try to argue with me. Oh, you got plenty of time. Those doctors don't know nothing. You, you could have, you could have 50 years yet. Well, I don't know if I'd want 50 years yet. <laughs> the way my body hurts now when I wake up in the morning and get out of bed, you know, or go to move, get down there all, all day long. It's all day, all night, you know. Every every movement, even now, I've got pain. And I can't take ibuprofen like I used to to eliminate and, cut and mask that pain. I now have to live with the pain because I had open heart surgery to replace the deformed aortic valve I was born with. So I'm not supposed to take any NSAIDs. Tylenol doesn't work for me. But, and if I take ibuprofen, it doesn't take long before I start bleeding internally. And when I see that, and then of course it's evidence, you know, I won't get into details, but I know when it happens because I see it, you know, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I stopped taking it and then it stopped, but because I'm on blood thinners, because of this art artificial mechanical valve, sometimes it doesn't, it, sometimes it happens even when I'm not taking ibuprofen and here lately, it's actually more often when I'm not even taking ibuprofen. So I'm living in pain and I'm still having the bleeding, but yet there's nothing else for me to take. They can't tell me to take less. I got to stay in my range or else I'm going to get a blood clot on this artificial valve and then die from a stroke. And there's no saving me because they'd have to get give me too much blood thinner to jump it up quick. Because that's what they normally use to save people from a stroke is blood thinners. They give you one bag of heparin and it cranks up your INR so high that it dissolves the blood clot and allows everything to go and then you're fine. Well, that's what they gave me in the hospital after my open heart surgery. And one bag, IV bag, did not do half of what it does to everyone else. And because of that, the nurse even told me, she goes, you, your body's different. Uh, she said, I've seen it a few times, but not often. She said, if your INR drops below and you get a blood clot, there's no saving you, you're gonna die. You're gonna stroke to death from it. There's no way we'd be any, you know, your body wouldn't respond to the treatment to save you. So just to let you know that. I'm like, hey, all right. <laughs> you know, more good news. And I've been living with that now for since 2017. And 2018, I found out about my heart failure. Um, and it's hereditary. There's no, no fix, no cure. Um, but it's all taught me a lesson. And then, you know, got ended up getting to being divorced because of it. Um, but I still, I still love that woman. I don't hate her. I'll always love her. She was my wife, you know, just the way it is. Um, but it's taught me a lot of lessons. Um, lost my good job because of my heart condition then. So there was another lesson learned, uh, and all that led me to this. And though some would think, oh my God, you're homeless, you're living in a van. I'm not homeless, I have a home, it's right there. There she is. And it's all I need because you know what? When I used to think I needed a bigger, a nice a nice apartment or you know, a house with a, two, with a, with a garage and a workshop, 
those are all things that you really don't need to be happy. And I am perfectly happy and content. Just me and my van and my crooked ladder I made. I'm still not sure really how that happened. I think, I think when I welded the brackets on the top, it must have warped or something because I had that set up to be completely straight. <laughs> but, oh well. My first ladder and I didn't have no jig. I was all freehand, putting it together, welding it. So, I like it. It's my style. It's a little crooked. <laughs> crooked like me. <laughs> crooked and strange and weird. And freaky. <laughs> That's me, Mr. Freaky. <laughs> but, this is all part of me and my van life. So, you know, it is what it is. So, hopefully, eventually, here soon, I hope, I'll be able to take off and go travel and enjoy my last few years. What time I got left, hopefully. So, is what it is, I guess. But I'm going to enjoy it, you know, and hopefully make some van life friends along the way as I get out and about where van life is bigger than here in Pennsylvania. Um, I know, I'm sure there's, I've seen plenty of van lifers passing through the area, my area here. Um, don't know if any of them have ever checked out my channel or not. But if you have, thank you. If you subscribe, thank you, thank you. If you haven't, well, I'm sorry I wasn't your cup of tea. That tends to be my uh, standard SOP. I'm never many people's cup of tea because I am me. I am most of the time too damn ah open and honest. And I don't know. It's just me. I am who I am and... Well, most of the time, my honesty of who I am and what I am, it scares people. I don't know why. I mean, come on. Do I look like a scary... I mean, which way is this? Do I look like a scary man to you? No, not really. I mean, maybe, I guess. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe, the, you know, the beard freaks out some people. The tattoos on the head used to always freak people out. Then that didn't seem to care it mattered to anybody. And I don't know. Now you put it all together and I'm in a van. <laughs> Some people are scared, I guess. I don't know. No need to be scared because I'm not the kind of guy that's going to hurt nobody. You know? I'm just an easy going, easy get along with kind of guy. You know? I just... Yeah. But anyway, but uh, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we'll have some uh, good content here for, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Woo, still working on, ha <laughs> Yeah, this is raw and unedited bearded nomad van life. We don't do perfect cinema here. And uh, that's the way I like it. <laughs> so for all you weirdos out there, weirdos unite. Keeping it weird. Wait a minute. I wonder, too bad I can't. See, I can't do that West Coast thing. If I could do the the W, weirdos. But I can't cross my two middle fingers like that. You no, know, kinda. Weirdos. <laughs> weirdos unite, baby. That's. But um, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, if you just got a laugh out of any of that, cool. You're welcome. <laughs> if not, and you think, man, this guy's crazy. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> Actually, I am crazy. I am. But in a good, nice way. I'm not, you know, I have a crazy side to, but that's locked away. That's why, that's what all this is about. Ah. Uh, as long as people don't cross me and push me over the edge, I don't ever have to contend with that side ever again. Took care of that a long time ago. But, 
I am crazy, but it's in a good way. I'm a loving, caring, affectionate kind of guy, you know. Love my alone time. Just wanna make reach my goal that I set for me. Because in reality, if you wanna be happy in life, you gotta be able to be happy with yourself 100% by you, you and you alone. If you can't be happy alone with yourself, then you can never truly be happy with anybody else either. And I've known too many people that have, I've seen that firsthand and it never made sense to me until all this since 2007, the end of 17. The end of 2017 opened my eyes and allowed me to look back over my life and other people that I knew and have known whether they're still in my life or not, you know, and I've been able to look at all that and be like, wow, hey, yeah, ooh, ooh, hey, ah, ah. Put it all together and realize what brings happiness. And you have to be able to be happy with yourself first. You got to love yourself, be happy with yourself. You can't do it. You can't make anybody else happy until you're happy with yourself. And that's what I've learned. And that's what I'm working on. So, all right, long enough, 46 minutes. Jeez says, man, I don't know how the, I don't know how these other YouTubers do it, how they can put a whole day in 15 minutes. And yet it looks like it would be like a 45 hour long video. And yet they cram their whole day in 15 minutes. I don't get it. I don't know how you guys do it. I really don't. Uh, but, so, till the next time, till tomorrow while I'm cussing Mona Van Lisa or cussing my life and my body for not being able to get in there well and fighting me to fix to do these parts tomorrow. Uh, until then, till that video content gets made and posted. Till then, love y'all. Remember, fight for love, not hate. And uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Love yourself, love others. And most importantly, love yourself. We're all pretty much we're all here. We're all here for a reason. There's a reason for everything. And we may we don't know what that is all the time, but you know, so till the next one. Peace!